Hello the folks and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19 and today it's time for part 10 of the second season and part 79 officially of the whole series. Now last episode we started the semi-final of the Shanghai Masters against Mark Williams and it's fair to say it started prettily awfully. We were 3-0 down but amazingly I don't know how and if you haven't seen the episode I must recommend you go and do so. We managed to bring it back after 7 frames to lead 4-3. After being 3-0 down, there was there was no part of me that thought, no, we can lead after these 7 frames I was talking about. Well, I'd take a 5-2, I'd even take a 6-1. But to lead 4-3 is quite unbelievable. In today's episode, we'll be playing the next 6 frames. So, at the end of the 13th frame, there will be a leader. Of course, that could easily be Mark Williams. There's only a 1 frame gap. And it was a bit of a bad place to end, really, that 7th frame. Because... We are in some real good form, some real good momentum, winning four frames on the bounce. So just hope that continues into today. But we'll have to see. Does Mark Williams start a fight back? He's got to be pretty aggrieved, pretty pretty annoyed by the fact that he was freeing up and he's lost that lead uh, in consecutive frames. But uh, Mark Williams just broke off for the uh, for the eighth frame. It's terribly windy out there today, blimey. But uh, yeah, he's just bloke off for that for that frame. So we're just going to play a nice thin safety. Oh, that's come round the middle of the table. That's not great. A little bit of a shame. Hits the middle pocket jaw and uh, just comes back. But we get away with it. It's absolutely fine. So we'll just play a safety on that. A little bit of a thick one. So he needs to get this right. Oh, he's hit the green. That could be catastrophic. It is. And I've said before that his safety in the first few frames is outstanding. But all of a sudden, it just seems to be a little bit ropey from Mark Williams. So, we'll take that, definitely. I'm quite happy with that. But it is a bit peculiar that he's starting to not play so well. Maybe under a little bit of pressure now that he's behind. But that safety wasn't great. Just hit the green. Without hitting the green, that would have been absolutely fine. But he hit the green, albeit, and uh, he's in a little bit of a spot of bother now. That being said, we're not exactly in the best position here. So, just hit this naturally. Not focus on any spin at all, and just see where we get to if we uh, if we pop this. We don't leave anything massively open if we don't pop this. Looks like a good chance though, and it's there. What a magnificent pop that is! No, we don't leave any massive openings. Does this go? Yes, this red does go. That's great. As you see a bit of a space there, so we'll nicely put that in, and that will very nicely do. Good stuff. Nice start to this 8th frame. Be great if we could win this in one visit. Be a very nice 2 frame cushion. And all of a sudden Mark Williams will start to look really panicky. Not that he isn't already. But uh, yeah that's pretty bad for him. Um, I'm thinking just try and take maximum points here. Because there's not that much chance of really getting a pot from the next shot. So we have got the, the black. Loose shot. Yes I know that was loose. But there wasn't really too much we could have done. To get on one of the reds. I mean, the two reds here are just on the cushion. That makes it a little bit awkward. But as I've said, tight maximum points. Get back up the table. And at the end of the day, as I always say, it's it's 14 points that Mark can't get to. So, just got to look positively at that in some, some cases. Neil Robertson, 14. But I don't know what changed. I really don't know what changed between that third and fourth frame. It was just the classic case that, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's got away with that, literally just. But it's just that classic case that you don't get comfortable in a match until you win that first frame. That's quite a big chance that Mark's given us here. Shot here. And that's a good pot. Nicely splits the reds. Need to get free of this one red, though, or else we're going to struggle. I can get to the blue, luckily. Hmm. Play with some top, I think. See where that ends up. Good pot. Didn't want to play it too hard. Not going to be the best position in the world. But we'll see what we can get to. That red actually is pretty straight on. So we, we get a little bit of luck there. Real bit of luck. But we'll take it. Nice soft pot. Not perfect on the pink. Just wanted to hit that hard enough so that it went in. So couldn't quite get straight on the pink. But this is okay. Again, another poor safety shot from Mark Williams. It really has to be said. But while he's not in form, we'll definitely take the chance. Because you never know when a player like Mark Williams can just snap back into it. 
Again, we can win five in a row, and he could quite easily win five in a row himself. It's it's a funny game like that. As soon as you start losing one frame, things can really get pretty nasty. As as we've seen with Mark here, he's uh, not playing his natural game, I would say. But we deserve it so far, definitely. As I said, our play in the first three frames wasn't brilliant. But ultimately, over the last four frames and now five frames, you, you have to admit that we've been the better player. It's been a real turnaround. This is not easy. And this seems to be continuing into this, this frame, just playing with natural confidence, really good. using all the colours, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this frame. Two separate breaks, of course. We had that little one earlier. But it doesn't hurt not to do it in one visit. It really doesn't hurt. Don't have to do it in one visit, as long as you do it. Kept the balls fairly safe, hence why Mark didn't get a, Mark didn't get a pot. So, as long as we don't make a silly mistake now, we should have a two-frame lead. It's absolutely fantastic, again, given where we come from. But let's not focus on that too much now, because we do need to focus on the fact that, look, we are in the lead. Uh, at the end of the day, we are now the favourite to win the match, in effect. Especially with this sort of lead, the bookmakers would certainly have you as favourite to win. As I've just said, that two-frame advantage can go very quickly. So, let's just keep focus. Keep on our top game, because at the moment, that seems to be winning us frames. But five in a row, that would be unbelievable. But no, the ball's nicely nicely positioned here, just to get some nice screw on them. Uh, I'm going to go for this one to the middle, yeah, because that could be a problem later. I'd just rather get rid of that now. There we go, it's there. That's well played with the rest. A little bit worried about these three reds on the cushion. Uh, but it's going to be okay, I think. I have to play the blue here. Uh, hmm. Position's a little bit awkward from here. Let's give that a try. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? Hmm. And in it goes. A little bit awkward now. So we play that. I mean, that's right on the cushion. That's the problem with that. So we have made a little bit of a mistake here. We have got a nice, comfortable lead, though. So we will just go for a bit of a shot to nothing here. Very tricky shot coming up. No, not no, quite. Not this time. Close, but, a miss. but we have got really lucky there in the fact that literally none of the reds are possible. The one by the black might be. It might be a little bit of a tenter for him, but it's still tight. And he's just going to go for the safety. I can't blame him really. 60 ahead, we have 75 remaining, we are. So, again, can't blame him too much. Still got a half chance at win. I can't see it myself. But we can make plenty of st stupid mistakes. That's a nice save. He gets another one of the reds into that cluster. Could be quite a nasty situation here. Where all the reds are in that little cluster there. And he's very nearly got the snooker. Impressive stuff. Uh, we've hit the black. We've hit the black. Where's that red going, though? Oh, just a little bit more power. That would have gone in. Well, not the best safety. No, it wasn't the best safety. I agree. So Mark has got a chance now. Has he potted that or not? Yeah, he did. He has got a chance, but long way back. But a player like Mark Williams should be absolutely fine. Of course, could do with potting the top colours, though, because it's fairly precarious to get to that total. He has got a 15 buffer, though, I suppose. Just now a 13 buffer with that blue. It's a little bit of a mistake from us. But we'll just have to see how we go. Good red. Again, looks like he's going for the blue, so he's making hard on himself, making sure he has to pretty much clear everything. I mean, the pink's a chance, I would say. The black just won't go, that's a little bit tight. 18. So we'll have to see what the scores and the repercussions look like in just a minute. So there's two reds left, that means there's 43 on the table, if that's right. 43, yeah. With these reds. So he's got a buffer of 7 now. 
If he takes blues, it's what? Going to be 6, 6, or 12, 39. So he will still win the frame. But he's still got to clear these reds up. And, of course, all the colours as well. I hope he doesn't. Because that's quite a comeback. And, as I said, a little bit of form, a little bit of promise will really help Mark Williams and not help us. Going for the pink, though. But that's awkward. That's awkward. And he's just going to go for a safety on it. Not quite getting the snooker there. Well, we might as well go for the fancy half chance. Really quite a half chance for me, that's fair to say. Nope, not quite. So close, but he's missed it. That'll annoy him. But that is about as well, he could go for a pot, he could try it. But it was worth having a having a go at. No, he's missed it as well. Again, think who's more going for the safety aspect. But that is not a good shot from Mark. And potting this will win us the frame. So we've just got to make sure we do. Pot here. And it's there. And that should be the frame. Beautiful pot. And that is lead of 30 now. Be a lead of 35. Yep, yeah, with the blue. Just go for the pink now. Get that one extra. And it's not a ridiculous pot to go for. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. That's a good pot. Great shot. Probably pot the yellow just for that little bit of comfort and then call it a day on the frame. It was a decent fight back from Mark Williams and I think we were a bit lucky um, to still have this frame by quite a comfortable margin. In it goes. Nine. I don't think he'll play on now. We've got a 38 lead. There's only 25 left. So we'll see if he does play on. I don't think he will. You never know, though. No, he doesn't. And we have took a free frame. A, 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 calm down. Not a free frame lead. A two frame lead at the start of this episode. That is massive. Really is in this best of 19 match. Of course, it's bet first to 10. So we're halfway there. And now I'm not going to start singing Bon Jovi all of a sudden. A little bit of a shame, that is. If we played that a little bit harder, it would have been just behind the brown. But it's tough to judge sometimes. Particularly with the angle. It's not necessarily like one percentile works. Again, another loose shot from Mark. Got to be disappointed with that. Just make sure this does go in. We don't want to make a fool of ourselves by whacking this and giving the frame away. We've worked so hard for all the rest of the frames. This needs to come off the cushion pretty, please. Oh... My God, that was close. We got away with that. Really did. Well, no surprises here with the long pot Just a nice straight pot on the blue to get us started. And then the world is our oyster a little bit on this table. Or the queue is our oyster, I suppose, I should say. He's going for it. What a beauty. Shot. We're flying at the moment. Again, I don't want to jinx things and then be in a bad position and start losing frames. But we look good at the moment. 14. Nothing wrong with praising ourselves. Something I think a few of you acknowledged a little bit uh, quite often. That I don't acknowledge when I play well. So I'll try and do that a little bit more. Well, there's nothing else you can do apart from clear the balls, is there really? So. But no, playing well, definitely. Well, to potentially win six frames in a row would be quite... Well, I don't think cataclysmic, cat cataclysmic is a bad word to use there. Unbelievable. He's lining this, one up to the middle this is a bit of a tricky pot, but it's there. No problem there. Overdone for the blue, but of course we can use one of the bulk colours. Even though we have got a two frame advantage, I don't want to take the risk of playing a tough blue at this point. Because at the end of the day, yes we're two frames ahead and in some shorter games I'd say, well we'll take risks. But I really don't want to go and take a risk that could potentially put Mark within a frame again. Uh, and then he could take the lead from that because we've worked really hard for this lead. So... Just all about a bit of psycholo a psychological advantage sometimes, just having a bit, bit of a think. 
That's a bit of a loose shot, though. I accept that. Hmm. Okay. Do we play a tricky pink here and just try and open up the reds? I would say so. This is a half chance. It's a dangerous one. Nicely done. Well, we potted the pink, it sounds like, and it's uh, worked out, that risk has. It was a risky shot, definitely, because it was at quite a lot of power, but it does open up a few reds. If we'd applied the black, it just wouldn't have opened really anything up at all. So, again, good decision there. In my book. Nicely onto the colour. Yeah. Might as well screw back to get this other red that's by the blue to the middle pocket, rather than any uh, fancy theatrics. Don't want to quite get straight on with the blue. Want a little bit of power just to put a little bit of spin in. Let's see how we go from here. So, we've got that red that opens up. Hang on. Yeah, that'll do. Got to get this right, though. We have been foul foul of uh, playing the ball too hard or too soft and then missing an opportunity because it's quite tight to get to. I thought a little bit like that one might end up being actually then. Right. Again, a bit of a weak shot. Could go for the black. Got to be careful with side. That's all I'll say. Blue's there. Hits the pink all be Not the best opportunity. But at least we had a go. Yeah, that will go nicely, I think. Nice and soft, though, that being said. There we go. Nicely drops. We have got away with a few things this frame, definitely. But a leader 53. It's very precarious at this point. Uh, I suppose if we screw back to that position, or where we are here... We should have a fairly decent chance of getting on that red. If not, we just play a safety. 58. Looks good, though. Yeah. Yeah, I've played well this frame. As I've just said, got away with a few things, but doesn't hurt. 59. Good shot. Good shot. That should lead to the frame win now. It's quite a crucial one. The pink going all the way up the table. Just shows that you can't whack every ball. Because if we'd have done that, the pink would have gone straight into the that pocket. And even though we've got a good lead, of course, that would be uh, the foul. And then that could potentially be the frame over. So, I mean, none of these are easy pots. Particularly. I'm going to opt for this one, though. Just needs this red. Oh, 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 oh! It's just about dropped. Talk about a bit of luck. We definitely have had some in this frame. I need to start being a little bit more accurate because I think in future frames that could let us down. But all beat, we get away with it there. That's fine. Good pink. But we've won the frame now, it's just all about potentially getting a century, cleaning all the balls up, 73. and getting into some form. I mean, this is quite crazy, the fact that after Marks won the first three frames, we have quite literally won six in a row. I can't think of any time we've done that in this career mode. 74. Oh, that was a bit off. I think I could probably tell about that. I was wasn't really concentrating that much, but oh well, doesn't really matter. Neil Robertson, seventy. We've got plenty of a lead, and now ridiculously we have a free frame advantage on Mark Williams. He's really not the same player that he was at the start. At the start of this match, he was brute, 
Falcons bound to be getting a little bit annoyed now and again. He's giving us an opportunity. But let's not get... The worst thing we can do is get cocky. Can't get arrogant. Can't get cocky. Just need to focus on our job. And uh, get this done again. Let's try and just open up the reds a little bit. See if we can sniff anything. He'll play this with plenty of power. Just open up one or two. No, it's not led to anything. Oh well. As I say, it's always worth just having a little bit of a go. That isn't hurt. Oh, I didn't want to hit the pink. It's so tight to judge that sort of shot. And he does have a half chance now. If we hadn't hit the pink, we'd have been nicely behind the ball. But oh well, it happens. And he has got a half chance. And that is his first pop for a while. But that's just going to be about it. <laughs> And it gives us a bit of a half chance in it. With a free frame lead, we might as well give it a sniff. Well, it goes, half a chance. No, not quite. Oh, that could be dangerous. Get away with it, though, amazingly. We really do. Wow. Unless he wants to buy the cutback on the red that's nearest the black spot. No, just a safety. We really do get away with that. Not often that happens. Another half chance here. Not an easy one, but a half chance. little bit of an easier cutting angle, and it's there. What a Great stuff. He'll be happy with that. Top shot. Well, I don't really think Mark took his opportunity to be all truthful. He's getting a little bit. Well, he's certainly starting to get a little bit nervous. I think. Not playing well. And I think if it would have been the Mark Williams Mark 1, pardon the pun, he'd have, he'd have potted uh, a few more balls there, but just for, no, I'm going to play the 1, then play the safety, and that's it. That's fair enough. But not so much confidence, and that's really damned him, because now we've been able to open up the reds, and from a pretty much a, a, a half opportunity, not much of one, we have got a very good opportunity to now go and win this frame. Mistake, like potting an illegal ball. That can happen very easily. But we are in a little bit of trouble here. Now it's right up against the cushion. That's going to be really tricky. Um, Yeah, we are in a bit of trouble, aren't we? Goodness me. We've opened up these reds, and in effect, they all block each other. So it's going to have to be a real twinge on this one into the middle. And when I'm in a real twinge, I really do mail a real careful one. No. Nope. Well, that could be damaging. That could be damaging. Neil Robertson, 12. Hmm. Just think it was a little bit hasty of me to go and open up those three reds. Because that's what's did it. That's what's done it, rather. Yeah, a little bit hasty of me. But let's see what Mark Williams can do from here. Oh, that's good. Nine. Can't see anything now, but I think he's mucked this up himself. Yeah, just playing a sight well. There you go. That's why he's played a safety. He's played that very well. One of the best in the game at playing something like that. We can just test this red. Pace is the key with this shot. Hit the red, wow. and it's there. Be with that. Easy as you like, eh? In what was a nasty oh. snooker, but this is ooh, a little bit awkward as well. Oh, that's so unfortunate as well. Great pot, real solid pot. That's a shame, really is. That's a little bit too hot, too hard, I would say. Yeah. Oh, that's a 
the error's starting to come back into our game a little bit now. Just need to get refocused a little bit. It was a brilliant pot that was from the snooker, but... Nevertheless, we need to sort our, our game out a little bit. Can't let Mark Williams back in. We're riding on a good amount of form. Three frames is an unbelievable lead at this point. Yes, he might deserve one frame, but we want to keep him out. I think that's fair enough. This frame might just spark a bit of a comeback from Mark Williams. Because really, what I'm trying to do now, we've been three frames up, he's just steady the ship. Oh yes, what a pop. That's great cue control. Excellent position. 21. 26. 27. 34. Hmm. Well, that's the end of break. Yeah, we just uh, need to steady the ship and effectively bring this home off field now with three frames up. It's never as easy as that. I understand that, but we've got a good lead. I think we can manage. Don't think my... break he's not won the frame and if we go on and we I mean this is a bit a massive swing frame of course they all are but this one more than any if I feel we go and win this frame we've got a four frame lead that's huge that's a good shot by the way got the snooker on him oh well we'll say thank you very much for that it's a good opportunity I just can't believe how windy it is out there. Just tried to open the window for the second time and thought, oh, we'll get to let some air in, but no, never mind. Right, we could go for the black. Blue's just a better screw back policy. Policy? Po uh, possibility pop. I didn't know we had a screw back policy, but there you go. Make sure we get this right. There we go, it's there. Exactly. So he's got a lead of 19 as it stands. That will now be 18 with uh, 42 left on the table. Seven. We've mucked this up a little bit. Let's just focus on getting a colour because we can't get those points back if we don't pop this. So Not an easy one, but a half chance. Let's just get the colour. That's a brilliant pop. I mean, it's... Oh, go on, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, my God. That is... Talk about getting away with it. Goodness me. I mean, this will be potable. Just got to make sure it does go. It's tight. really is. No, it's not quite there. That's a shame. I'm not sure what happened there. All right, folds. But he's going to get it. And I think that's the frame, unfortunately. It was a decent fight back. It was just that one red that mucked us up. I knew it was going to from the start, but it's just a case of getting away with it. We didn't quite. And it looks like it's going to be 6-4, which is a real shame. I think 7-3 would have been a massive, massive frame to take. Really dent his confidence. But he's back in it now. He's 6-4 all beat. But we'll just have to see how we go. We will. We'll have to see how we go now. We will still have a leader after this episode. Could well be Mark. Could bring it back to 7-6. I don't like to say that particularly. But you just never know. But to break a 31, Mark Williams wins his first frame in the 10th since the 3rd. Ends our 6 in a row. Uh, let's see if we can get that streak going again now. Oh, that's a bad break. I'm just worried now. We just need to refocus. We just need to refocus. We worked really hard for that lead. We don't want to let it go again for just a few hasty shots. Because Mark William, when Mark Williams gets in the balls, you know that you've got a problem. Luckily, though, he's just going for that one pot. Talk about uh, not really going for it much. A little bit thicker than I'd have liked. That's going straight. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That is okay. This is 
No giving. Tricky shot, this. Mm, didn't realise this would travel so much. The red, that is, but I think the blue covers it. Right on the cushion there. Bit of a safety battle to go on here. Halfway through today's proceedings, of course. Oh, that's a nasty shot. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Didn't hit them coming down the table, so he was going to hit them definitely coming back up. That's vital. It's one of the most heartbreaking shots I know as a player. I've had plenty of them. It's one of the most heartbreaking shots you can see. You think, no, it's going to come back up and hit the reds. and Unless you get very lucky, you can get away with that, but very rare that you do. So this pots into the right corner. But this is a big chance. It's a clear mistake from Mark. That means we've got a chance. Let's get that free frame lead back. Because for obvious reasons, a free frame lead is much better than a two frame lead. The same way as a two frame lead is more comfortable than a one frame lead. But to keep, uh, I just want to keep that free frame lead now, really. If it goes down to two, or fine. But the problem with only a two, only a two frame lead is. You make one mistake and it goes down to a one frame lead and then it gets pretty precarious from there. Still in your destiny, I think, if you're two frames up. 13. But this is a long haul match. It's uh, all about mental ability, really. Mental ability to keep focus for all of them frames because, of course, every frame is, as a, is important as the last one. It's a battle, of course. This is a. Uh, 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 and we're okay. Got a little bit of a problem here. Not a massive one. Just wants to sink this into. The okay, that'll do. That's one more red free of the pack. And we'll take the black from here then. Be careful with this shot. Okay. Hmm. Caused our own issue there a little bit. Some soft then. No, that's nowhere near. Don't know what I was doing there. Neil oh. That was stupid. Should have just <sighs> counted our lucky stars and just just gone for a safety. Has he just missed that red? Sorry, I wasn't watching for literally just a second. Yeah, just had something to do with there. Apologies. Um, <laughs> wasn't watching for a second. It could be one of the most crucial seconds of the frame. Really impressive queuing. One. Right, let's get this right this time. Just have a look at these two reds. Yeah, the one doesn't block the other. I don't think. I mean, I don't know what that. I don't know what that positioning was. I'm. Sh I'm sure glad that. Uh, we just checked where that black was going because that was going absolutely nowhere near the pocket. That's a little bit close this time it's in. Good stuff. Eight. Eight. Right, Nine. so again, a little bit of a tricky situation here with the black. We're probably best playing the blue. I just prefer playing the blue. There's less risk with position and you can just control things a little bit better. We know what a prolific long potter he My is. personal so opinion. Take this on. It's a good blue. But every pot, of course, is close to the frame win. As I said earlier, we don't need to do it in one visit necessarily. Mm. Okay, let's give this a go. Could be a little bit of an awkward one. But that's a good split. We got away with that. 15. And hopefully that should be a lead to the frame win. 
get this free frame lead back. Good pink. Ooh, very tight though with all these reds. Luckily that's okay. I said a lot of it's about the men mental ability of the player. Really is. That blue will still go, won't it? Let's hope so. Yes, it will. That's fine then. Good pot. And we'll get that red. And then we might as well follow that up with uh, another blue. Straight to the top pocket though this time. Not straight to the middle. A little bit overdone. But still okay to pot. And then line ourselves up for another another blue. Yeah, you, you're not Windows. I've just checked that. Uh, we're going to make things better by up up restarting your PC soon. If you don't see this video, you'll know that... Hang on. Schedule the restart. Pick a time. Let's just say 7 o'clock today. Go away. Stupid Windows up there. I'm glad I checked that because if that had restarted, I could just cry. Because this is probably one of the most important matches of the season. The oh, by the way, you've lost all your footage because Windows decided when it actually does install an update for once to install it. And that shuts the door so I'm glad I checked that. In this frame. And you heard what the man said. I don't usually agree with Neil Fold, but he's got the math mathematics behind him this time. He's got the facts behind him. And that, ladies and gents, should be the frame. So we restore that lead. It's not the big comeback from Art Williams. There are only two frames left now, of course, today. So that does mean we will lead... Um, at the end of this episode, all beat by maybe one frame if he wins both, two frames if he wins one, uh, and then of course four if we win one, five if we win both. So it's a really massive swing that can just go on in these two frames now. Apologies about that, folks. My phone's just gone off. Got no time to answer my phone in a time like this. Goodness me. Oh, I can't screw back, can we? That might be a problem. We can't screw back for once. Oh, no. And that's pretty crap, but it doesn't really matter. We can go for a half chance to the top pocket. Again, it doesn't really matter because we've won the frame at a canter here. And it's there. Nice pot. Again, just playing on for a bit of experience now. You might say, oh, for God's sake, just get on with the next frame. But we might as well play on. You never know when your next pot's going to be. He could win the next two frames. Good lead, though, at this point. We do lead this match 7-4 now. In terms of this session, we lead by three frames to one. Of course, that adds to the... The 4 free lead we had in the uh, first session. Long pot, right up his street. Still got a chance at a good break if we can clear up all the colours. Just the colours remaining. But I just hope that. I mean, I don't want to say this already, but I feel with a free frame lead, it can't go massively wrong from here. Again, it's. I don't want to get too cocky, of course. That would be silly. But uh, with, a, with a lead like this, 67. I can't see us not qualifying for the final. You never know, but uh, I, I can't see us losing from this point. Anyway, let, let's just hypothetically say, without ruining our standards and making a stupid fool of ourselves, let's just say hypothetically we get into the final. Let's say uh, we continue this streak and win by, I don't know, three frames, four frames. Our final op finalist opponent is going to be pretty worried about that, particularly against someone like Mark Williams. But of course, just a hypothetical thing that we get into the final. Nothing to do with the fact that I'm already thinking about the final. Nothing to do with that. But there's still two frames to go today. It could be massive. This will be a good break uh, of 89. That nicely adds to the scores. Won't be the high break because I think we've already had a century. I'm sure we have in uh, one of these games. Might have even been this match. But uh, a break of 89, a good break. And we lead now 7-4.
He's really not starting to develop in our advantage, I would say. He's breaking from the other side now. Two frames to go in today's video. Before the two frames on Saturday. That is a shocker from Mark Williams. If he wanted to try and get back in the lead, that's not the sort of shot he should really be playing. In my humble opinion. So hope this got the legs. Yeah, it has. No problems there. Nine. I don't. I don't like playing those shots on the on the black. I really don't because it's you get a little bit of a struggle for position then. Uh, let's have a quick look what's on. Pot's on and he's going Not what's on the it. TV guide, but what's on the table to play. Oh, wonderful shot. Quick loop. 14. As, I've just, as I've said many times, not as I've just said, I haven't mentioned it for a bit, but as I say a lot, we don't play an orthodox method. But as I've said, it doesn't matter particularly. As long as we play well, as long as we're comfortable, that's fine. The only place we struggle is if we're forced to play the black. We've got several options. We'll plump for the blue every time. But, of course, we just need to be trained a little bit on that black because if we're not, it provides a little bit of an issue if that's our only option. But we haven't really had a problem with that this match, I would say. Only in the one frame. That's a lot tighter than I probably realised. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm really going to go for a shot to nothing then here. And it's there. Great stuff. Just fancied that, as I tend to with these long pots. And that was a nice pot, it's there. Right, so we can... Well, we're a little bit awkward actually. Right, then let's try and open up a few reds, if that's what we want to do. Brown's there. Open up a few reds. That's going to go straight to the pocket annoyingly. Unbelievable. Oh, that just happens sometimes. That just happens. Oh, damn. And now he's got a, we've got a problem. Because Mark Williams could come back with this. Again, apologies, I had to look at my iPad a little bit there. Just just sorting out one or two things. Nothing massive. My full focus on this game, though. Just got someone texting me about something. Whinging, probably, as usual. But, uh, no, this frame's still uh, in the opening stages, really. Eight. The balls have been opened up, which doesn't help our cause. But, as I've said, if he wins this frame, we still retain a good two-frame advantage... The worst thing for us would be is if he wins the, the two frames, because that means that our lead is this, effectively the same as it was at the start of the session. One frame, it would, of course, be three each. And going into that pressure of the final session, I'd just like to have that little bit of a buffer. Two frames, maybe even three. And then you've got that comfort of knowing, right, we've got a real chance of winning this. I mean, ultimately... If he mucked this up and we won the next two frames, we'd only need one out of six to win the match. Again, if it's one frame he gets here and one frame we get, we only need two out of six to win the match. But things could unravel horribly. The frames will count down and all of a sudden it's, oh dear, we need two out of three. And that is, I think, a miss. Quite a big one as well. But he does get away with that. I feel like that was a little bit of a safety attempt. So we're going to try and put this at the top. He's taking on the long red to the corner pocket. No surprises there. Long pots are his Easy as you like. Beautiful. One. They are correct. 
I'm a chef. What's the speciality on the menu today? Uh, long pots? God, I'm a comic. Dear me. This green, probably not the best one to take on, but the best in terms of potting chance. And uh, just leave a long chance, half chance on this red, which I'm fairly confident in. Doesn't leave too much on if we miss. No, nope, we've missed it. Well, a little bit of a shock. Not played that well. Does Can't leave the one we're play, we've played on. Neil Robertson. Mm. Sometimes you just think, I mean, to be fair, it's left the two by the pink on as well. I don't know what I was on about. Not only left the one on we're playing. It's actually left quite a bit on the table. That was a bit of a peculiar camera angle there. I think he will win this frame, though. We haven't played our best snooker. I think we're kind of allowed the odd frame where we don't play our best, but we can't make this regular. Because there's no point working hard for a frame and then in the next frame thinking, oh, we'll back off. There's no point in doing that. You've got to be on your toes every frame. I just think that this gives a little bit of pressure, especially if he wins this one, because then I would say we do probably need the next frame just to give ourselves that comfort, especially knowing that we had a three-frame lead, nearly a four-frame lead in this session. But it sets up whatever happens here. A really exciting final session. Again, I would say this is probably going to be 8-5. I would say. Can't predict anything massively. But if he wins this frame, I just hope that we come back and win the next. Obviously, the last time we, w we lost consecutive frames was when we lost the first three. So I don't make that a habit particularly. 19. 25. 25. Mark Williams, 25. Ooh, what's he done there? What's he done there? 32 behind, 35 remain. I'm baffled at that. What has he done there? Don't ask me. I haven't got a clue. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Well, let's give this a chance. Why not? We've definitely got a chance here. Now, mm, we've got to play blue, really, for positional purposes. Of course, then means that we have to pot everything. Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. No but we've got a really good opportunity now to change what would have been a two-frame lead to a four-frame lead. So we're going to give it our all. We're going to have to give it a go. And fingers crossed, we'll do it. Well positioned for the green. Eight. green and brown are going to be our biggest issues, I would say. That's one of them dispatched. 11. Now this leads to get to middle, which is always tight. Oh my god, it is windy. I know I keep whinging about the wind, but uh, it really is windy. Right, let's just make sure it's the most important part of the game so far, I would argue. And it's there. Great. Little bit, mm, little bit awkward on the blue, I would say. Not the best. Blue's there, though. Two more balls to get. This is a little bit awkward because it's quite close to that pocket. But I wanted the pink to the middle. Screw back for the black. And uh, we should be fine. But that's a really big frame. I mean, I don't want to jinx it just yet. Let's just make sure we pop this black. This pot for the frame. But my God, that is a huge frame for Mark Williams to have lost. A break of 33. We win it by one single point. And that is a huge frame. In the swing of the match, 8-4 compared to 7-5 is huge. It really is because it just is. It's massive. It's one of the biggest frames that was in the match. Means that we're now 4-1 up for the session. We'll have at least a free, free frame lead going into the next one. Uh, and it could be as much as a 5 frame lead, which would just be amazing. And as I've said, alluded to prior, if we win this frame... We just need one more, and that's just the best way to start it, really. Perfect. We just then need one more frame, and we're through to the final. 
Has he hit the reds? I think he has. But in that, he's given us a good opportunity. Well, to be fair, it's pretty tricky not to leave an opportunity out of that sort of shot. Good pot, though, from us. Let's go and take this opportunity now. Get a decent break anyway. We don't need to clear everything up in one visit. The next one that goes off, you will Can't be expected to be a vacuum all the time. But I think Mark's got to be really annoyed. He's had two chances now at winning frames that we've effectively stole from him. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Somebody's got to be there to take the chance and we have been. We've been cruelly dealt with from that before. It's not gone our side, not gone our way. Now that will... Oh, just, I know we're not playing that at the moment. That won't go, no. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Let's play the blue. We're just the, just the wrong side of it, unfortunately, which makes things a little bit awkward. Let's try that. No, it's pretty much a straight on shot, but... Mm, it's, a de it's a decent chance. Depends whether it goes now. No more than half a chance here. It's a tricky one. Tremendous pot. Brilliant. It's there. Good pot. Be very Did well out of that. What can he do here? And now with the right side of the blue Ready. to get some good screwing to the reds. We might as well take this opportunity now. That's really the table up here. It has opened the table up, definitely. I said, let's try and take the opportunity. Let's just, I'm just trying to keep focus as possible, because I think, as I said in the last episode, and even though there has been this time round, uh, in, in some frames, obviously, there won't be as much communication from me. I'm just trying to keep focused. Because it's a big match, huge match in the context of the year, this is. Beat Mark Williams. It's our biggest win since we've been on this update, ultimately. And, uh, yeah, it'd be massive in terms of our season. To the left middle. What a top pot that was. Good pot. Hit the yellow, that will do. Pot. Absolutely fine. 24. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pot. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, make me laugh, folds. That's a top shot. Well played. Yeah, make me giggle. Wonderful shot. Well played. 25. That's fine. Line ourselves up for a straight blue. There are opportunities everywhere. It's the kind of frame I love this is because, as I've just said, we can take plenty of opportunities. It's not massive in terms of accuracy. And again, an opportunity I didn't see, but the one I'm going to take this time is this red. Nicely onto the pink. As I said, just need to keep focused because this. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God for that. The last frame I know I said was a big swing, but this, again, is massive. Two at this point with six frames left go within one of really getting to the Shanghai Masters final. That would just be massive. No, it wasn't the best control, I agree. For once. He's playing for the right Let's give this a bit of a tap then in that case. And this is going to be fairly risky. It's okay though. Right. Okay, red's on. Got a solid break build in here. That can end the course at any time by being a little bit stupid. Good pot. Moves the black and funnily enough opens up the reds a lot. So again, we've got a good opportunity here. Well, to be fair... What I did say, and I'm going to hold up my offer on it, if we do win this frame, I will play one more today. Because we're within one of winning, ultimately. I did say at the start, 
that if at any point one player, if it was us or Mark or whoever it was, He's well, it this one up could only be one pocket. of two, to be fair. Um, and if it was us or Mark that were within one frame of winning it, I would carry on for another frame. So as I said, I'm going to keep that offer if we do win this frame. Again, it looks good, but it's no good counting your chickens before they're hatched. Is that, is that the... 57. Is that the... Not the slogan, is that the saying? I'm sure it is. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. I'm sure that's the saying. I'm fairly sure, anyway. But uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're not here for English literature classes. We're here to watch snooker. And I think this should be pretty much it for the frame. There's five reds left. Soon to be four. Just the red required here. Yep, as Fold says, just the red needed. And barring snookers, as I always comment, as I always say, barring snookers, we go within one frame of winning this semi final. What a huge statement to make that would be before the final. Now, if we do get to the final. Again, I don't want to talk too early, uh, but if we do get to the final, of course, it'll be the first final since this Daffabet Masters. So it'll be the first final we've played on this difficulty, uh, and I think I've already just premiered the last session. I think. Mm, a little bit tight there, tighter than I'd have wanted. Seventy-six. Really doesn't matter about this, as I've just said. Just go for the, go for a century. Why not? Mm, it's a little bit tight here to get that, so we might turn down that pot. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Beautifully done. But remarkable, I just cannot believe it. it's quite the success story, really. 79. Oh, that's overdone. We're hoping to get on that red. I think that's overdone. Oh no, it's not. That's okay. Uh, no, it's it's quite the success story, really. I couldn't have imagined, especially being three frames down that somebody would have said, it's quite all right because you will win well, nine out of the next ten frames. I'd have gone, are you stupid? No way. Well, an excellent pot. Well, but as I've said, there will be more, one more frame today. Now, if Mark wins it, we're not going to play on forever. That's just, we're not going to do that. Because we not, haven't got all day. Bit of a problem because the yellow's not on its spot. Will the yellow... T I don't know how this works now. Will the yellow take the black spot? In which case, I've got no idea how to screw for this. Kind of go a little bit middle of the road. Where will the yellow sit? Will it go on the black spot? Yes, it will. Well, the same on four stair. I was just hedging my bets. Because if we'd have gone all the way down here and the yellow was near its original spot, then we'd have looked stupid. But that's been missed. It's okay. We didn't really know it was going to go there. We'd have prepared easier if we knew where it was going to be. But with a break of, was that 89? Yes, a break of 89. We win the 13th frame and go within one of getting through. The session's been especially extended at the, at the request of me, not the referee. Just to see if we can find a deadlock. We played seven frames on Monday. We'll do the same now. It's a huge frame. As I've said, every frame now, we get a chance of winning it. Not the event, just the match. Don't want to get too bogged down in that. I'm feeling positive though now. That is a not a great shot. That is going in as well. Well, we're going to play on. Of course we are. Mark Williams doesn't make mistakes like that. Just shows he's really adept of in adept of any confidence, lacking confidence really. Every shot's a big one though now. Very tricky shot coming up. A little bit wary about that. It's a little bit of a tighter angle, but we got to it nevertheless. Yes. 
seven. But the Stephen Maguire win was the best one we've had so far. You don't need me to tell you that this would be by far our best win. Again, I know it's not all over yet, and it would be a real stupid jinx to go and say, well, we've won it, because we just don't do that. And we've done that plenty of times before, and then, oh, we've lost. I mean, we've never done it with a five-frame lead, but uh, we have done it in the past. Oh, that doesn't quite go. It's a shame. It's this one on the cushion, then it is. It's finished a bit awkward here. Mm, a little bit awkward now. Eh, mm, that's not really worked out, actually. No. 18. Right, this one will go a little bit tight, though. We are playing with luck a little bit, though, here. Soon find out. That looks good. Middle dip. That doesn't look so good, though. Oh, my Lord, we do get away with that. We've got away with our fair share today. We really have. Blimey. Oh, we didn't quite hit that red there. So I think it is probably safety time. I've done a lot of that. No, don't look at that angle. It's not going to go, you stupid plonker. I mean, a little bit of a loose shot, but again, is he going to be willing to take one on? I don't know. No, just a safety from him. Good one at that as well. A little bit further, only to have snookered us all together, so fair play to him. There's no doubt in Mark Williams' ability. Of course there's not. It just doesn't seem to have been his match. Although, I just can't believe he took a three-frame lead. Very nearly a four-frame lead, and now we're in this situation. I don't quite know what he's done there. Decent safety, though, mind. The safety battle continues. Exactly. Oh, we need this to travel. Need this to travel. Need this to travel. Yes, that'll do. He's looking at the plant here. Is he looking at the plant? One. Well, he's got the plant. Oh, would you believe it? One. Good pot. Seven. Now he's got a chance. Now I said it was safety time. We didn't Eight. quite clear things up. That's not a very good shot, though. Oh, dear. Needs to get out of the snooker. He did hit the desired ball, something that we struggle to do when in these situations. But now all he has to do is sit down. Has that been his last action of the match? I hope so. Let's not get too excited. Don't want to get all nervous. I'm going to keep those nerves down as much as possible. It's very much... I think Ripstone Lab 42 have got this massively right in terms of the immersion. Because I'm seriously feeling the pressure right now. I ha although I hate to admit it, I definitely am. To sink this it's like, right, it, every shot matters massively. Beautiful. And if you're too hasty about playing a shot, that could be it. I mean, really, we shouldn't be nervous because <laughs> we only need one in these six frames. To win the match, but it's just that thing of if we're here, we might as well take the pressure off straight away and go and win it. It's just having that chance of knowing we could win it with this break. So you do feel that pressure a little bit. Lots of power on this shot. Saying that, let's just go for this. He would have hoped for a better split there. Thirteen. Probably would have done, yeah. See what we're on, if anything. Green will go, yeah. Oh, so close. Not easy. You needed some luck there. Usually fairly accurate with these, but we've missed it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, just in my greed and desire to win this frame. 
We've missed that green. Well, it won't be his last action. Let's see if he can go and win the frame. It is greedy from us, I agree. <laughs> With what most of you guys are probably saying. Still a long way to go in this frame yet, though. Tough shot coming up. Fourteen. Uh, it's a tad loose. Sixteen. Applied the yellow there. Fair enough. I mean, play the wrong colours. Play the lower colours, and this could go down to the cut there to the colours if you like. If he plays the lower end colours with these reds, we'll have to see how he gets on. Joking his cue there. Seventeen. A long hard think about this. What he does now could really be massive for the match. 24. It's gonna have to be a big, big battle from him here. We know what a prolific long potter hmm. he is, okay. so I'd assume he'd take this on. Going for the black. He's missed it. He's missed the black. Ladies and gents, Mark Williams has missed the black. Now let's go and make sure that's curtains for him in this match. One. <sighs> Talk about a chance. I think it might be a little... Uh, we've got our own pressure here. Not really any shot that's easy to take on here. Not surprising. In most cases, I've gone right, play the black, it's fine. But here I'm just, just worrying a little bit. Into the, left corner pocket. the line looks okay. Yes, it's there. Eight. But look at the position on this yellow. It's not great. Eight. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Oh, I hate these pots. It's way out. Why did we go for that? Let's see where this has landed and if we get away with it. Neil Robertson, eight. Ooh, okay. No, he's not even bothered to look at the yellow, really. He's looking for the snooker behind the blue here. Hmm. We haven't got it, I don't think. Not what he intended at all. He'll be annoyed with that. Whenever he wants to take a long pot on. No, it doesn't look like it from that sort of angle. Mm, okay. Okay. Not gonna say too much here. I'm just gonna get on with it. So even if we do pot this, the green's pretty well, much impossible. I'm he's taking on the long pot here. That's really close, but not quite close enough. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. No, he's just playing a safety. Not a bad one at that. This is not easy. No, not quite. Say that again. Close, though, but that won't provide any solace. Go on, behind the blue, behind the blue, please. Oh, that's unbelievable. Just a little bit unlucky there. He's took on the yellow and got it. Okay, I think he's got this frame now. But now he plays the safety on the green. Not the best safety, but we still have to pop this. Tides, definitely. Oh, that's desperately unlucky. <sighs> just off, just off. I think he's done it now. That's a shame. Still some twists and turns potentially to come, but he just needs the blue. Well, he needs all the colours, actually. <gasps> wow. He does leave a really, 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 really tempting half chance. Oh, you know what? Balls Just to it. We're going to play it. To win the frame. 
No, not this time. No! Close, but a miss nonetheless. <laughs> It'll definitely pop this. Oh, you idiot. Why did I go for it? Just out of just pure greed of wanting to win the match. Oh, well, he's missed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm down. We've got an opportunity. Well, this'll clinch the frame. Come on. Well, an excellent pop. That effectively removes any chance of a comeback Pink's there. Pink's there. Six. Let's just give the black a tap. Don't need to take any risks. Tap the black. Neil Robertson, six. He's going to try and play this. I don't blame him. He could have conceded. But he's going to try and play it. Okay, no pot, fine. Is that all he's going to try? No. I'm going to try this again. Great shot. That's a really good safety. Well, fair play to him. He might as well try all he can. Well, that's a bit unlucky. Is he going to go again? Yes. This is comical now. I, I really don't want to say anything just in case we make a stupid mistake. That looks good. That line looks good. We potted the black. Stop, cue ball. Stop. Just confirm. That's it. Brilliant. There you go. We've done it. We've won the semi-final of the Shanghai Masters. Wow. How many chances did we need there? That is crazy. With five frames to spare, we are through to the final. Wow. Just to say, this session started at 4-3. We've just won that one, 6-1. That is the best win I've ever had on Snooker 19. Right. Okay. Our first final since the Daffabet Masters. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? I'm going to say Selby. And I wasn't wrong. I really, really wasn't wrong. The Shanghai Masters final. We've already 100k. That will nicely supplement our uh, innings. I mean, look at that. Career and earnings is only 456. So that's what? About a quarter of our whole career earnings already. But just to put the pressure on. The number one. The player who in real life isn't playing well. But just look at those stats. That shows that he's playing well. And on Saturday we will start the final of the Shanghai Masters against Mark Selby. Seven frames uh, in each episode, I think. Yeah, we'll do seven frames each episode, but I am so looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching, if you've got to this point. That is unbelievable. I can't quite believe that uh, it, took, it took a long shot there from uh, Mark Williams to, to muck up and make us win that 10-4. But... Monday's episode was called Out of Our Depth. We might be renaming Saturdays to Out of Our Depth as well. But we'll have to see. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys on Saturday for the final at the Shanghai Masters. Goodbye for now.